make sure I have a good connection here. There we go. Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing good today. What's happening here? Good to see everybody. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Hey, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing there, guys? How's everybody doing today? Good? Good, good, good. Everybody's doing good today. Let's talk some manifesting stuff, right? Let's talk about getting what you want. Getting your, getting your desires to come into you. What's up? Let's talk about that good stuff. We got, we got everybody coming here. We got from Panama. Hello, mate. Good. I think we have Australia here too, right? Panama, Panama. Good, 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 good. Hey, hey, hey. Awesome people. How are you guys doing today? Good? Instagram. I like the Instagram format. Get 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 some of you guys to um comment and do stuff. You taking tonight's Powerball? Yep, you can take it. You can manifest. You know something I was thinking about earlier too, right? Something that came to me is so what's the secret, the real secret, right? There's a lot of secret stuff about manifesting. Right, you're having a lovely Saturday, good. So there's like a, a lot of secrets to manifesting stuff, right? And I was thinking about it, I was like, hmm. Like what is the thing that really propels us to get what we want? And so I started to observe, like, I was like, okay, so let's observe nature, how nature works. And it brought me to the weather. So when it brought me to, like, observing the weather, it's very powerful here. So I thought, I, was, I thought about this. I was like, look. I was like, okay. So the thing is this, okay. It can't be rainy every day. One day, the sun got to come out. Just like it can't be sunny every day one day the rain has to come so it brought me to okay so it means that if you're focused on something that you desire no matter what the circumstance is looking like one day it must become sunny just like it was maybe it's been raining in your life for the past years five six seven eight years because time is irrelevant one day the sun gotta come out that's your manifestation. So it's all about being consistent and sticking with your uh, routine. When you have a routine, even if you're not seeing results, you got to keep going because one day has to change, right? And that was that was a that was something profound because that goes into being in the present moment. That goes into being aware of the time thing. So I thought about that. I was like, hmm, you know, that's true. You know, I thought about it back, for example, with the lottery. I was like, man, you know, if I didn't stay consistent, if I didn't believe, if I didn't play, I wouldn't have won. And I thought about, I thought it started with every other, anything you do in your life. Look, if I didn't be consistent with my subliminals, if I didn't be consistent with my visualization, if I wasn't consistent with this, then it wouldn't have happened. Now, I believe now, look, this is what I believe happens here. I believe the reason a lot of people uh, give up to, before they get what they want. I believe they truly want it or truly desire it, right? But I believe what happens is uh, they get accustomed to their mind, their ego mind, and they get accustomed to seeing things in a linear perspective, time-wise. Because the mind will say, bro, it's been one month, it's been two months, it's been three months. And we get caught up with our own minds and we fail to realize how things work that the time look I gotta I keep I gotta say this man the thing about time it's so messed up it really is so messed up because the way they the way they create time in this matrix system where they have hours past pre, past and future you know like time wise months days years that is really messed up because let me tell you something guys your mind that creates the world around you it does not live or operate in that spectrum it cannot operate and live in that spectrum 
So what we do is the reason we give up a lot of times when it comes to manifesting is because we have been accustomed and we've been trained by the logical program mind through the matrix, through our ego. We got, you know, we got the time, we got the chronological time. That is what stops you. Because in your subconscious, there is no such thing. Now, there you can overcome logical time, but I'm not it's gonna it's gonna take practice, it's gonna take repetition. Because what happens is you have to literally convince your mind. You can do it because I'm doing that right now. You can literally convince your mind that the only time is right now. You can do that. You can literally do that. And when you start to approach things from that perspective, you free up a lot of what? Resistance. The resistance frees up, man. When that resistance frees up, the allowance comes in. What you want gets to merge in and you get to experience it. You see how it works? That's very profound to understand. I sit back and I think about it. I say, wow. That's, that's, that's the whole thing, man. That's the whole thing about this stuff. And then now, when it comes to the things we want, like our desires. Now, here's another misconception that's been put out. Probably been put out by your mind as well, but probably been put out by your people every, everywhere. Matrix, everything. School. Everything, they put this message out to you. They, they, the message is this. The message is clear. Here's a clear message they put out to you. Like what you want or what you desire is way over there. And it's hard to reach. And you have to figure out by yourself how you're going to get it. And then another message is whatever you want, it's way over there. Not only it's way over there, but you don't even deserve to get it. Think about that. They, they, put, they paint a picture. Yeah, you could, it's, you could have whatever you want, man. But it's too hard. It's too far, man. And, and by the time you, you get it, what if you don't deserve it? And they tell you, well, maybe you don't deserve it. That's what it tells you. But the truth of the matter is nothing that you desire is cannot be any distance from you, man. The stuff that you want is right entangled with you. If you want $250,000, you already have $250,000. See, you got to think big picture because somebody may be looking at this video and like, what is this guy talking about? I want $250,000, so I already have $250,000. If you want health, you already have health. If you want love, you already have love. If you want success, you already have success. That's what I'm telling you right now. For, for the ones who don't understand this, uh, let me enlighten you a little bit and show you this how this stuff works. All right, let me put it to you this way. I like to use analogies, make, make, make things very simplistic for you to understand. All right. Whenever, let's say, make it a forgot an easy way for you to get this. Okay, let's say you at the park, and there's a nice little pond or lake right there, and you're watching the fishes. You see the fishes; they're swimming in the lake, the little pond, and the fishes, they can, they're aware of you, right? Because you see them popping their head up and down. So what are you doing? You are you're observing. The fishes, right? You're observing these, these na natural nature things, right? So you're sitting there, you're watching the fish, and you see another fish come. The other fish come, he's playing with the other fish, and you're watching it. Now, in the fish's world, they are entangled together, right? So I gotta move my car a little bit here while I'm talking, see? I gotta do multitasking. So in the fish world, the fish, they're interacting with, 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 with each other. So they're like the fishes on, on fishes, right? They're like the fishes are interacting with each other. Now, despite what's happening in the fish world, you, none, of the, none of what's happening in the fish world can affect you internally as a physical thing. In other words, you are the only person that's observing this thing. So whatever's happening in the fish world, 
it's happening in their world, but you are observing it cannot affect you. Like you're not gonna feel pain by watching a fish do something else. That's what I'm showing you. You're not gonna, you're not gonna feel um, a certain thing like the fish is controlling you or any of that thing because you are the observer. So it's the same thing with your awareness to your thoughts. So for example, and I drive it home. I want to drive this point home so you can understand what I mean by that. So for example, if you want money. Or you say you want someone say I want two hundred fifty thousand. I want this or that. That if you want that stuff, people, all you have to realize is that. Think about this. You can observe desiring two hundred fifty grand. You can observe your thoughts. But here's the thing. Your thoughts cannot observe you. Thoughts can't exist without you observing them. Money cannot exist without you observing it, you being aware of it. So what does it say? It says, if I'm the observer, I'm the creator. I'm the effector. I'm the perception of this stuff. Okay, now let's take it to the next level. Okay, so I'm the observer. So I, I'm generating this field of conscious awareness. I'm generating this field of reality. Okay. So how do I get that field of reality to be my experience? That's the question. That's, that's the magic question right there. Okay. Are you following what I'm saying? Because this is so important. This is so critical because people don't understand how this stuff works. All right. So now I understand, okay, I am the observer. I am the one that's having this experience or experiencing this observation. So now how can I bring that which I desire into my experience? The first step to do that, guys, listen carefully. If you want to create and bring things in your life a lot easier, this is the big one right here. The first step is to realize that the thing you want cannot be over there it has to be you are creating that thing in other words you are the only person who can give yourself permission to have 250 grand or to not to, to not have it you're the only person who can give yourself permission to win the lottery to not win the lottery you're the only person that can give yourself permission to have a great life or not a great life let me repeat that you are the only person that can do that because your observation creates an experience the experience will come first in the mental aspect and then it follows the physical aspect that's how it always goes but people here's what they do they they pass the first one they pass the mental aspect they get to experience it in their thoughts their desires and their emotions but they fail the actual 3d physical aspect and why do they fail the 3d physical aspect because they're looking for it When you're looking for it, it's not looking for you. When you're looking for it, it's not going to show up for you. When you expect it is, and when you know you are it, and when you know you're a part of it, and you know you already have it, that's when it shows up as the physical experience. That's it. Point blank. So people, they fail. Everyone, anyone, most most of you guys can easily write something down on your vision board. Most of you guys can listen to subliminals or watch videos and and visualize in your head. That creates the mental experience. But the, what people fail to understand is when things create, it's an orderly process. Remember I said this to you before. The universe is a self-correcting code. Every piece of the puzzle must fall back into, uh, into a sym symmetrical, perfect, mathematical, equational arrangement. It cannot fail. All right, so the secret is most people, 
they enter the mental experience and then before the physical experience come in they get what they get anxious mm -hmm. we got here miss ayana says having it is to walk around with the feeling of already knowing it's yours exactly exactly someone got it exactly but the question is mark well what does it feel like to have what i want yes miss Diana five your understanding is correctly mark what does it feel like to have what i want well that's a personal question I mean, I could tell you what it feels like for me to have what I want. My feeling might be different than your feeling because I'm, a, I'm individually experiencing my consciousness, consciousness from a fractal of a collective consciousness, just like you are. So there's not a universal one fit off feelings for anything you want to create. Your body, your unique consciousness, your unique experience, your unique feelings dictate whatever. I'll give an example. Like some people, when they something great happens in their life, they get super excited and they get some people cry and happy and that's great. Some people, when they get great experiences happen in their life, they're very cool, calm, and, and they expect it. So you have to go into your internal map. Do it. All right. Spiritual Gangsters asked me a great question here. So how did she ask me, how do you feel it without having it? All right. I'm going to put you on, I'm going to put you on the right course here. So first we have first you have to understand what having it is okay so let's let's break that down all right we live in a collective world of pictures that our brain generates as signals and becomes reality so you and I we broadcast information through our consciousness and it comes into your brain as spiritual gangster that's your your consciousness so whenever you perceive something out to the world okay according to your brain and your subconscious mind you already have it but you have it first as the mental but nonetheless you have it because here's the next loophole the mental always becomes the physical listen again the physical can't come before the mental so to ask your question you ask me how do you feel it without having it you already have it from the moment you start to perceive it desire it visualize it you have it quantum physics shows us that there's no there's no argument about that nothing can come into the world without first coming into the spiritual aspect and then it transmute into a physical three-dimensional world nothing comes into the world like that and if you believe so, your mind is mistaking you and you don't know how neuroscience and, the, and how physics and how reality works. So, okay, you got that one. All right. So you already have it in the mental. So here, so the, to answer your question, how do you feel it without having it? It's the same process. If, you, if it's in the mental, whatever the feelings that you think about in the mental is, that's having it. So in the mental... If you're visualizing the lottery or visualizing your business being successful, whatever you're visualizing in the mental and whatever feeling that comes up, that's the feeling of having it. Then the next step is going to come into the physical, the three-dimensional aspect or well, four-dimensional aspect because now we have time as an equi uh, equivalent process of, ma of, matter of manufacturing reality in our consciousness. So he has three dimensions, now we have four dimensions of time serving that point, which brings things together to make sense to us. Are you people following me here? All right. So, crucial point comes now, and this is where a lot of you mess up. A lot of you mess up in this one. The few of you who succeed, you you know who you are. You're the ones that Everything you're gonna, you, you know who you are. The ones that succeed in this, they master the game. So I'm gonna go into the, this part now. What separates the people from the mental, and then to experience in the physical? 
There's two things. Let me see. Uh, I'll tell you what they are. I'm, I'm getting downloads here, so let me tell you what it is. It's telling the universe is telling me, okay, well, how, what, how, what is it, universe? Okay, I got one, two, three. What is it? Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, got it. So, universe has told me the three things that you have to have, when from the mental to the figures. Here, there, here's there already came in accordingly. First one you have to have is faith. Second one you have to have is patience. The third one you have to have is repetition and it says slash persistence. That's where people mess up when it comes to that loophole. Most people don't have that. Some people have one or some people have one of them. But listen, in order for you to get it, you have to have all three of them. You can't this, this game doesn't work with okay, I get one or two, Mark. Nah. It's three or nothing. If you don't have any of those